everyone welcome back to my channel and to another video so I was very lucky over Christmas to receive a new MacBook Pro from Father Christmas and I'm just going to set it up today so that we can do some Cricut crafting on it so I'm going to share with you how to download Cricut Design Space so let's jump over to the screen and get started then in my browser I'm using Safari today but if you're using Chrome or any other browser it's going to be relatively the same process to do this so all you want to do is go up into your search bar just click into there and just type in www.cricket.com and then I've actually got it on here as a suggested website because my computer has pulled it from my history so I'm just going to go onto there and just hit enter and it should bring up the web page that I'm looking for. This is the home page then for Cricut's website. So first of all I'm just going to accept the cookies at the bottom and then I'm just going to sign in at the top here firstly. Alright I'm signed in now so now we can look for the software. So if we just scroll all the way down to the bottom, we are going to be able to find the link to get Cricut Design Space on our computer. So just click on Design Space under Products here. Then it'll take us through to another page which will allow us to download the software onto our computer. This is the next page then. So this is the page that has detected that I'm using a Mac so it knows that that is the version of the software that I'm going to need to download. If you're doing it onto a Windows computer, it will come up and say Design Space for Windows. All you need to do first then is click on the I agree to Cricut Terms of Use and the Privacy Policy. I would recommend that you have a quick read through those. As I have put this onto various different machines, I'm quite happy to just agree to that. So just click into the box and then you get the download button become available to click on you can actually work online and click on the open and it will bring it up to do that as well so let's just click on download and it's going to say do you want to allow downloads on design.cricket.com and yeah we do so let's click on allow and you can see that that file has just gone down into the bottom here and it is downloading now quite happily so it comes up on the screen now and says setting up a new Cricut product browse project start designing and more in your downloads folder double click the file name Cricut design space install.dmg and then follow the on-screen prompts if you've got any problems you can click on get help here as well you can see at the top here as well it's also showing me that file download so hopefully it's not going to take too long and then once that's done I'll show you the very next step. The download's complete then so what we want to do is go up to the download at the top there and you can see that it's given us the file that it's telling us about in step one here and it's called Cricut Design Space install.dmg there it is Cricut Design Space install it's giving us the version number as well and then .dmg so if I just double click on that then going to come over like this on the screen so then what we can do is just click on Cricut Design Space and install and now it's installing that it's going to ask me for my password which I think is the correct one yep okay that's installed now there it is at the bottom there so now it is telling us it's basically giving us a security warning on the computer so it's saying Cricut Design Space is an app downloaded from the internet are you sure you want to open it I am going to check this box that says don't warn me um, when opening applications on this disk image I am usually really really careful about what I download onto my laptop so I know that obviously this is an official copy of Cricut Design Space so I'm quite happy to open it on my computer just be aware that obviously there are dodgy programs about online and you want to make sure that you've got the right ones. I'm just going to click on open now. Okay, so now we've got this come up on the screen. What we need to do is click on where it says Cricut and oops, click on it and just drag it into the applications folder. Now it should allow us to open it. 
Now that it's on the computer, then what we need to do is either sign in or if you've got a new machine, you'll need to do a product setup. Now I have a video on a full machine product setup on my channel already so I'll link that above and below for you right now but obviously because I'm just putting this on my computer to use I'm just going to hit sign in and then I'm going to just sign in to my Cricut Design Space account if you haven't got a Cricut Design Space account you'll need to click on create a Cricut ID and then that will bring up all the information for you to do so and there we go that is my home screen here it's giving me all this information about what's new there is a video on what's new in 7.23 on my channel as well which I will put below for you right now so you can have a look at that one if you want to there's some really cool things that have come to design space in this update so I'm just going to maximize this and I actually have a cake topper to make so I'm going to get straight onto that and get that sent out so I hope that you found this video to be really useful if you have I'd love to see you again for another one so don't forget to subscribe drop me any questions or comments that you may have down below and I'll do my very best to answer them for you have a brilliant week take care of yourselves bye